Welcome back to the summon of the, 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 the files. Whatever it says. I really like this game because it's basically a comedy, but also detective, but also drama, but also sadness. Sucked in. Of course. <gasps> Hello. I should, I should uh, turn down the music just in case. Cause you know how companies are sometimes. Everybody are you Otomatsushida? Are you Otomatsushida? Who are you? Who are you? Everyday. I'm from the MPD. From the MPD. <laughs> the police? The police? Let me turn down the music. The music. The music. Everybody, the music. I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> kind of busy right now. Last night. Last Don't play night. dumb, kid. Don't play. Yesterday, dumb, 9 p.m. Yesterday, 9 you called 9 the police from a payphone. You, pay you told them about screaming you, you heard coming from Bloom Park. From Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking no about. What you're talking All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down here, to the station. Do you, do you have a warrant? Do you have a warrant? Article 2.3 of the ex- No person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. I'm just gonna send the music off. You don't need it. How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> what are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Stop bothering me, please? No. <laughs> I can punch him. Date, look! Date. Ants! Look at them go! Whoa! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. Well, ants are great. What do you mean? I was gonna punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Then what should I do? I don't. I have an idea. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Kick it. I told you to wait. You Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Listen to me, Date. How dare you? Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Okay. Whoa. Oh no. Does Tessa refer to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? 
Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's subaccounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Yeah. Can I punch him now? What is that supposed to be? I do not know. I do not know. Nobody knows. A recept is suppressed. press. Why did you have to look? Hey kid. Okay. Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell want? Aset. I'm gonna tell Aset. Tell her what? Tell her that you're what? sock puppeting for her on two witter. Two witter. Two witter. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Woo! I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. I'm going to ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone, uh, this guy. Okay, okay, I'll talk. Just shh. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? You enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? She's just a friend. Yes, she better be. What? Why do you care? <laughs> Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? A friendship. Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth... She's surprisingly insightful. Oh. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Fair enough. Uh, let's, uh... A door. Nothing dirty now. <laughs> this isn't that kind of company. Oh, no shit. A vending machine full of drinks. Magazine racks. 
I was just taking a girl home in just two minutes. It's like that fucking alpha type thing on YouTube. It's so cringe. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damage. Damn it. Damn it. I'll do it though. Hey, Iba. Hello, table. What do you think would happen if I flip this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. Guess I won't. Oh. Can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. We went into the park. Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode, like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. <laughs> Why did you use a payphone? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Uh, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oates' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth. Of course he is. Hey Ota, what are you doing? What are you doing? Tessa! Tessa! She's twelve! I think she's twelve! And uh. you are? And you are? Mr. Dante from the MPD! From the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? A detective? Wow! I've never so met long. a real detective before. <laughs> this is just awkward. Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Let me just hear the music. Is something the matter? No, nothing. So maybe she's older now? I don't think she is though. Oh, um. I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa? Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. 
so, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. <laughs> when I'm with her, I just... I think she may be older. My head gets all light, <laughs> and I just relax Maybe and not. don't sweat the know. small stuff. I don't know how old Date is. <laughs> You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that. So, Mizuki so must come here to hang out sometimes. So she must be the older sister then, maybe? I don't know. Relationship? I didn't get a lot. <laughs> We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Mm. Ota always defends me when I'm getting mine. Stop! You're making me blush! This guy... <laughs> Let me confirm something. You're Aced, right? <laughs> Let's play a game! Shadows! Um... Thread? Silhouette? Aced! Fears! Uh... Upset? Regret? Aced! Water! Water! Wet sweat ASAT! <laughs> Yay! ASAT, you bet! Yay. The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should. Oops. I turned 18 this year! Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's fine. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, Don't on, worry, Don't I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? <laughs> Ooh. Maybe. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Two Winner. Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, be cool. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nodami. Let us continue. Right, let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. That yeah, was true. Ota, take a video. Huh? Just do it. Just do it. Mr. Dante. Mr. Dante. Please, Mr. Dante. You can't leave me. What? I can't imagine life without you! <laughs>
<laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Ocha, did you get it? Ocha, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Low. Okay. No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder... What would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... I told you, I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Okay, let's go. Why do you ask? You two are very close, for an idol and a fan. Ota is... special. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. Oh, you mean what Fortnite? What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! What are you doing? Just thinking about posting that video. Whoa, whoa hold up now. Well then, tell me! Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but... I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscade? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the... Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office. And he hooked me up. You know, now that I think about it, 
Wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. Well, that was unexpected. What? what? I can see Frag. into the future. No, it's not pregnant. I know no. when I'm going to die. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. Maybe she does know, but she's just like, Oh, I'm just kidding. I don't really know about the future, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm part of a special can't. investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. I, I, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that has a bad name. Oh, that has a bad name. Oh god. The people of Isis is great. But maybe the goddess is a nice person. I don't know. Maybe somewhere in the uh, books it talks about uh, Isis being like a, a good goddess or something. I don't know. By What's the way, name? I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell uh, me. Okay to Iris. Iris. Iris oh. Sagan. I know, weird, right? Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Oh. Make me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Mm -hmm. she was Something a, wrong? She was a. She was a. Uh, Probably like a Nate, like a friend as a kid. No, it's nothing. Let's go. That took way too long. <laughs> the merry go round. Excuse me. You can name Date. That's right. That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you, bro. It's a horse. Upside down horses. Oh, there we go. A local cop. Ooh. How's the investigation going? Yeah, it's not looking too great. Looking we searched all over here, searched but we didn't... Poor dude. Mr. Date, that horse! That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Is that a phone booth? No, it's the control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. I was joking. Oh, Panda Ride. A black and white bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. What game is she thinking of? <laughs> what 
What game do, has a fucking panda in it? They have no clue. What are you doing? He was trying to find some clues. She's a natural detective, huh? Mm -hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual Ooh. here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around. Stabbing her that. one by one. Oh my god, that is fucking... That's quite an imagination. Ooh. But, do you have any proof? I do. Well, I do. let's hear it. Ooh. Why was she in there? Maybe she's the murderer. Uh... When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. This amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. It was closed eight years ago. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. What, I, what I'm thinking is that the chemical plant kind of caused somebody, like maybe like a family member or like a, a friend or like even a boss, to turn into an evil cycle. cycle Therefore, girl. Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they... okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? Yep. We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Yeah, true. Hey, hey Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. Huh? What do you think this was a ritual? The horses. Or? Horse? Sounds horse? kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking uh, about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left oh. eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. Every Mario girl go round is connected to God. <laughs> That's the deep uh, conspiracy. Yeah. It's the same <laughs> idea behind the Eye of Providence. The Eye of Providence? The all seeing eye. The oh, eye. I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Starting hey. to see the picture? Not really. I kind of do. I kind of. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Ooh. Providence? Left eye? Oh. There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Suspicious. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. 
<laughs> Maybe he removes it. I'm suspicious. If Ota's telling the truth. He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Oh. Tinazuki. Oh. She maybe she removed it or maybe she she was the murderer. Like I said, the most innocent could be the most Yeah. What to do when policeman? But hey, if you sense any trouble, you can hop in there and change. How old are you, making that reference? I suspect that she did not give you her real age, knowing what a phone booth is. Oh. She knows what a phone booth is. So she could be older than she says. She could be 90 years old. <laughs> Last night, Shoko's corpse was on top of the horse. It has been removed. The body has been transported to headquarters for autopsy and review. Aiba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Naturally, there should be plenty of blood. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off, either. That must Whoa. be... What do you want? Oh, that's a We should go. Oh, come on! Just a little longer. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Hey, you alright? Are you okay? You okay? Morning sickness. I'm kidding. It's not like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. You're Your fucking back heavy. Is so warm, Mr. Date. Well, it wouldn't be cold, would it? It'd be weird. Also, I'm wearing a coat. Shame. Shame. Oh, you should worry about me more. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. 
What if I threw up right here? I would put it right back where it came from. Ew. That makes me actually want oh, to throw up. Oh. Oh. Wait. Seriously? No. But I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hey, Date. They say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax. Oh. I'm invincible. By what? <laughs> My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like I've met you before. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Boo! Going home already? Yeah, goodbye, bro. Oh, who is, who is this, Iris? What? Come on, I'll make some tea. You're... Nice to meet you. Nice I'm Iris's you. mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Kaname Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh! It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Maybe I am the murderer. <laughs> Think so? Yeah. I was just yeah. thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? What about them? What? Since I was born. And mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... Well, uh, I don't know. Huh? May I ask how old I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? What about your husband? I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please. It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A single mother. Yes. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lemnisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. 
Out the flowers. The flowers. Yeah. Flowers. It's an iris. It's an iris. An iris. I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. Gross. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? Why do you ask? No reason. No reason. She dies at some point. <laughs> Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. It's poison! Watch out! <laughs> Are you left-handed? Oh. Uh, Mom used to be right-handed. But now... Hmm... <clears throat> It locked up on me. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's weird. You seem to be doing well. Yeah, though. thanks to you. Yeah, I feel as you. tough as a lion. Rawr. Rawr. Gross. How am I supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Growl. Meow meow. Well, Goodbye. I think it's time for me to be heading home. It's time for me to be heading home. Mr. Dante, Mr. Dante, we'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate, after all. What? Anyway, anyway he's seeing you. He's seeing you. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Well, I should head home. I should head home. All right. Take care, Date. Take care, Date. Goodbye. Date, let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Good idea. Oh. 
Hi, my name is Kaname Date. Nice to meet you. What? Date? I have the same name. What a coincidence. Perhaps he's had too much medication. Hey, me. Want to play a game? Sure, let's play I Spy. I Spy something round. My eyeball. Correct. I win. I will terminate you. <laughs> Don't push yourself, Date. No, I'm fine, Date. You do not appear to be fine. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job, if there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Aiba, can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. The corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye? Yes, as a matter of fact. I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. Oh. I wonder if it was a chemical crime. <laughs> By boat. He said that you can get hit there by boat, right? Or by bike. Or by helicopter. Welcome back. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Examination was over. Mizuki. Mizuki. Has she said anything? Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do. Sync with her.
I'm going to leave it there, though. Maybe not. There's a cutscene. Maybe. I don't know. What the fuck am I? And now we save it. Yes. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it there and I hope you enjoyed that and as always, goodbye.